Hey you guys, it's Kelly from House of Virgo. How you guys doing? Hope you like my setup here. I'm going to try and do a little bit different for you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. Please hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. It's a love reading for Virgos. Virgo only channel. The saga. Virgo, Virgo's <laughs> love life is such drama. It's either total drama or just dry as a bone. <laughs> All right, Virgo, let's get started here. How you guys doing? Hello, everyone in the chat. <laughs> Thanks for the super chats. Greatly appreciated. Let's take a look. All right, Virgo. Remember, these are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. Okay. So you have strength, Leo energy, nine of swords. We have the magician, Gemini. You have the Seven of Cups, Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Swords. Okay. So Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Look at all this sword energy. What the heck is going on here? Let's see at the bottom of the deck. Oh my goodness. The King of Wands. Okay. Virgo, first of all, male or female, this is your energy. This is you, okay? Because the Queen of Swords can be Virgo as well. I don't know if some of you know that, but yeah, because she represents Mercury ruled. She's representing you in this reading. And the King of Wands might be somebody that you were connecting with. So we have Leo on the table. So some of you might have been connecting with a Leo or on the cusp. Of Leo Virgo, uh, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay. Some of you might have been married to this person or in a committed relationship with this person. Okay. Trying to figure out how to make things work. Now, it doesn't have to be fire, just remember that, but trying to balance things out, contemplating how to come into harmony. I feel like, oh, wow. And now, wow, but here's you. With the tower, something must have fell apart. Virgo, some of you must have made a decision. You just said, no, I'm out of here. Or you just ended something. Yeah, there was some grief or sadness or something that happened in this connection where something ended. Okay. And then I also saw the King of Swords. So we have a lot of sword energy here. And I feel like that's really important for some of you to know. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. What is going on? I've, so that those overall messages there, I feel like somebody was trying to figure out how to make something work. And I feel like you were trying to figure out, no, not make something work. Somebody that you might have been connecting with. I'm getting a couple different messages here. Somebody that you were connecting with was trying to just have things be peaceful and trying to figure out a way to keep the peace and you Virgo something happened in this connection or this relationship where you're in like um, a grief state okay grief state about someone maybe somebody else okay could have been a th um, three people involved in this here a three-party affair Virgo you were somebody was trying to make something work with you and you were sad about somebody else I don't know if that's going to resonate for you, but that's what I'm picking up here. It feels like two kings and you, or two queens and you. And the three of swords is here, so there is like a, a heartbreak thing, a lot of sword energy. And these are not good swords. Nine of swords, <clears throat> eight of swords, seven of swords, ten of swords. Okay, let's see what's going on. Virgo, you know what? I feel like this is you. Okay, so I was just clarifying. Let's get ready to clarify. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of options, a lot of choices with the King of Cups here. Okay, so somebody, there was a, okay, here's the storyline. Give me a second, because when we have a lot of court cards, then we have different players, okay? So there was someone in your life 
who wanted to come into or marry you or be with you or try to make something work with you, try to have something happen with you, okay? Um, or there was someone you were in a relationship with or you were married to. Now, I see you being sad over somebody else, though, or something that didn't work out. Okay. So, Virgo, listen, you've got fire energy here, you've got air energy, and you've got water energy as far as key players. So there's three different people. <laughs> okay. Um, so here's what I'm picking up. You sitting right here, Virgo, okay, male or female, it's just energy, right? I feel like you are either you're on dating sites or you're talking to people and you're just kind of like analyzing everyone and trying to figure out maybe who's the best person. Look at you looking down at your laptop, <laughs> trying to figure out maybe who's a good option for you or who to choose. You must have a lot of options or even a few. Okay. Look at all the roses on that tree sitting in your rose garden. Earthy. So I feel like it's, you're looking at that, you're analyzing, you're weighing things out for yourself. And you're also like really focused on your work. So a lot of you are just like not even interested in trying to get involved with anyone. Uh, you just, like you're not making a decision right now is how I feel. You're kind of like, okay, well this one's like this and this one's like that and that one wants to be with me, but I'm not sure about that person. It's like you're shopping. <laughs> Virgo, you're like shopping. Okay, so we're going to leave you right there. All right, there's a lot of stuff going on here. And because when there's a lot of court cards, I can't get into like the depth of the reading. But I can tell you what, there's a king of wands. Okay, king of wands wants to marry, male or female, wants to be with you. Bold, aggressive, achiever. This person wants to be with you right now. They're figuring out how to do that, contemplating whether they should reach out, whether they should invest, okay? And the king, you know, king is action-oriented, but in this scenario here, um, <clears throat> he is kind of, he or she is kind of like just sitting there trying to contemplate how to come towards you, okay? For some of you, it's a Sagittarius, no doubt. Trying to con contemplate how to come into harmony, ask you out for drinks, go have some drinks together, see the bartender right here, mix it up the drinks, right? This person is totally interested in you, wants the whole nine yards, the 10 yards, that wants to get to the 10 yard line with you, okay? Um, this is crazy sometimes the way these readings come out. All right, now we have the King of Swords here. King of Swords is like grief stricken. Something fell apart and the King of Swords is like really sad. There was some type of breakdown in a relationship. Now you change up the signs as much as you want. The King of Swords is just someone who is more of a communicator and a thinker, where the King of Wands is more of a doer, okay? So this King, this King of Swords, I'm gonna pull a couple more cards for him, or her. This King of Swords is kind of like, something broke down, fell apart, couldn't last, and this person is very sad, grieving right now. If you're not communicating with this person, they're grieving right now, okay, whoever they are. Yep, look, because you just want to be single. This is the Virgo card in the Tarot, because you just want to be single. They're, they're grieving, they're missing, you're independent, you don't need them, they're sad about this. <laughs> Virgo, what'd you do, like throw everybody through the laundry, wash cycle, and just get rid of everybody? all your lovers, <laughs> you're just kind of like, you don't know. And then we have the King of Cups over here, very small, small cards. The King of Cups, 100% wants a new passionate beginning with you, some fun, fiery, passionate times with you, but it's like either suffering from mental stress or um, some kind of restrictions or is having insecurity problems or something, 
or is just not sure about themselves <clears throat> wants to reach out definitely but the king of cups doesn't usually wear his heart his or her heart on their sleeve <clears throat> let's get one more card here you got so much going on yeah the king of cups wants things changed or wants to make some kind of change i don't know who these people are to you I don't know who these people are to you, but this King of Cups wants, some, wants things to be in their favor. And when the time is right, I feel like it's going to try to come towards you. This is crazy. All right, I'm putting these people away. This is you. This is you right here, Virgo. This is you right here. What's going on? Virgo, you got... Right now, look, the center of your reading, you have the Four of Swords. So right now, your thought process is, everybody just leave me alone, I'm sleeping. You're shutting your phone off. You're not communicating with anyone. You're just keeping to yourself. You're resting. You're getting some R&R. &R, you're relaxing. You're, you're dreaming. You're meditating. You're praying. You know, you're just like going into this eternal place of peace for yourself. Okay? You're just doing you, boo. That's what you're doing. Okay, why are you doing that? Because you have all this freaking stress around you. You have all these this sword energy. You got the nine of swords where you're having trouble sleeping. Some of you might be so, uh, struggling like with insomnia, I hear. Or maybe there's like conflict in your mind or some nightmares or something. You also have this the eight of swords where there might be a lot of like, of course, there's restrictions still in the world. So you might you may not be able to go anywhere you're not sure what you want to do um or you're just feeling like you've hit rock bottom here with the ten of swords and you're just trying to get some mental rest peace you're wondering here why somebody ghosted you okay what happened to this person or people or what's it could even be for some of you it's just like relationships in general you just like you know all the areas and you're in it's like you know everything that you want you know these are all like tangible material things but like the relationship is always like why do people go to me or why why is there always some kind of mask or facade with people that i meet or have met in the past right virgo i just feel like you're kind of like asking yourself have you been living in fantasy land what's going on you're trying to gain courage and manifest things in your life going forward but I feel like you're looking heartbreak. And, and it's interesting because there's three people. So some of you, either you had three people or you had one or two in the past and one more is coming in. Or you had one in the past and two more coming in. This energy going through the rest of September. You're looking at either third party affairs or you're just looking at your heart and you're like, that's enough. I've had it. You're taking that final sword and you're and you're plunging it into this heart here, into your heart. And you know what that means? One sword, two, three, four. Peace. That means peace. You're at this place now, Virgo. I feel like you are just like, everybody leave me alone. I just want to rest. Let me go in my tanning booth and just chill, okay? <laughs> Let me go get a massage. And I just want to be left alone. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I don't know what's going on relationships all this stuff keeps happening there's trouble in paradise and i'm just exhausted and right now not forever but right now i feel like if it just kind of feels to me like there's just a lot of drama as usual we go just a lot of drama oh my goodness all right so these people don't have to be lovers okay just remember that like it's crazy there is somebody here who is really missing you and is really in a place of grief. They feel like you're single and they see you, Virgo, they see you as like being financially independent. You got your, you know, your, you got your nice car, you're going, you're getting your body in good shape, you're healthy, your mind is right. This is how they view you. I know some of you might be like, um, well, maybe I'm trying, <laughs> but money in the bank, taking care of yourself, wearing your, like for the ladies or even some men, look at how she's got like jewelry on, nice clothes, nice threads, um, this bird. 
Uh, little do they know that like you have to keep holding your wa your phone up to get a Wi-Fi signal. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that bird, it makes me feel like, but this is like messages coming in for you and you're catching them all like Pokemon, but you're like not really paying attention. This is what this person, I feel like they keep sending you messages or they will be, and you're just really ignoring it. You're just kind of ignoring it. Look at all those grapes. This represents fruitfulness. Okay, and this person, it feels like they, this person feels like things are over between you. Like you just, I don't know if you went cold on somebody. Okay, this King of Swords energy. So someone who's like mostly an intellectual or someone who's just, you know, a communicator, but more of a strategic strategic type of a communicator now this fire sign it just kind of feels to me like this person might be coming in or they might just be thinking about you at this time you know they're contemplating i feel like this person is actually thinking about you know possibly like asking for your hand in marriage or um coming together or living together or you know this person's they're thinking but don't don't be fooled by the king of wands King or queen of wands because they are not going to sit for very long they contemplate long enough and then they make a move they strike okay so if you were connecting with this person in the past this fire sign they're definitely listen even if they are not going to do anything they're definitely thinking about just looking at what you guys had together here if you were with this person and thinking about also how they should have married you or um, you brought peace to their life crazy yeah and then oh no this, this king of cups feels like they're just waiting for the right time to come forward but it's not time yet they're trying to get their courage up but this king of cups has a lot of like insecurities that's so nuts let's get some clarifying cards on your reading here okay for you What's this courage about? I can't believe I've never seen that many swords show up in one reading. Okay. Oh, okay. Death in reverse, tower in reverse. You're trying to gain the strength because it's hard for you to move on with whatever you're trying to do in your life, right? The tower in the reverse means things have not fully broken down or came crashing down just yet in, for you right? You're almost at the end of something being over here in your life or making some great change. The death card is also about change and transformation and that's in the reverse. So there's still a bit of suffering and you're trying to be courageous. You're trying to hold on um, and get through whatever you're currently going through at this time, whether it's mental, physical, emotional, whichever. You're spiritual, you know? Um, strength card is like trying to become more empowered in yourself um it feels like for uh, what's the overall theme i want to ask the overall theme here for all of these these three people whether it's like lovers friends family members this this feels bigger than a romantic uh reading what's the overall theme what's going on <laughs> The King of Pentacles in the reverse. Well, okay, here's your energy. You're, you're trying to get your stability at this time. And the King of Pentacles in reverse is you're being greedy. You're going after what you want now, what's right for you, what's best for you at this time. Okay? You know, um, there's an energy here of feeling a bit unstable. Maybe it's your finances for some of you. You're really just trying to get, you know, back on the ball with your finances. I know, you know, career and money and stuff has been tough for a lot of people. Lost a lot of money and the stock, the stocks, lost jobs and stuff like that. And if that happened to you, you know, your focus is like, I'm not interested in doing this love thing with anybody. So many, everybody's got something, drama, problems, issues. And you're like, the only person I have to care about right now is me, getting myself stable and in a good place, get, turning things around for myself in my life. So 
let's take a look at the magician because this is here about you manifesting you're trying to like you're putting all your cards on the table and you're getting to work Virgo you are getting to work and you will not be distracted you're strong you're very strong Virgo and you're a worker boy are you a worker okay four of swords in reverse you're restless you're eager you're ready to go you're like manifest this b-i-t-c-h and let me at it <laughs> some of you are just you know like you're going hard at the gym you're going hard at your career you're going hard at your pursuits whatever you're trying to do your hobbies some of you are hitting church i mean you've got like a new pep in your step and it's difficult for you but Virgo, you're the sign of service, you know, and you feel empty if you can't make a difference in your own life or in the lives of others in some way. And you just have like, I just feel like you have a tunnel vision right now. And you're, you're basically, like I said, you're looking at that, those three swords and saying, uh-uh, no more of this, no more heartbreak. Maybe these were three people that three relationships you've had in the past that just didn't work out and you're like guess what i'm done some of you i see you're like you don't you just don't want to be bothered anymore you just want to build and create and build your empire and make things amazing for yourself and you just don't want to be bothered with drama cheating third party affairs um extra relationships past relationships new relationships Which, you know, if that's what you got to do for yourself right now. That's what you have to do. Let's take a look at the Queen of Swords. Look, Knight of Swords. Let's cl clarifying this here. Here you go. You're like on a mission. A lot of you are making a lifestyle change. Big time. You're changing. Changing everything. Changing everything about yourself. And everybody, these other men or other women or whomever, you're le I just... <laughs> You know how sometimes I get those images and I just saw like the roadrunner and how he leaves the dust behind him. Um, Wiley Coyote keeps trying to chase the... I mean, I know I'm dating myself here, but Wiley Coyote keeps trying to chase the roadrunner <laughs> and you're the roadrunner. You're like, nope, not this time. You're just out of here. You're doing you. And that's good. That's positive. If it, you know, but as long as you're not doing this because you're running away from your heart or you're trying to like not have to deal with your feelings, um, but you're doing this because you really want to improve and make your life better. You want to do your hair better. You want to get in good shape. You want to eat better. You want to get on top of like any illnesses, your hygiene, you know, um, taking care of cosmetic things you know, upgrading your home, upgrading your employment, your car. Like, I know it sounds all material, but we live in the material world here. And some of you are just up upgrading your spiritual beliefs as well. You know, you're getting into this place where like, man, I got to get that power. I got the power. It's getting, getting, getting kind of heavy. What is that song? That's from, you know, you guys, I'm such an oldie. CC Factory or something. I forget what it's called. I think you all should go listen to that song. I've got the power. All right, let's see what else. Let's get your advice. I, I really, all right, no, you know what I'm going to do? And I'll tell you what, I forgot to pull these cards here, so I'm going to grab them for you. But I'm going to put each, I'm going to put one on each. And listen, if this resonates for you, great. If it doesn't, then it doesn't, all right? There's plenty of readings I've already done and we'll keep doing. There'll be a singles after this as well. So let's take a look and see. Show me this King of Wands over here. What's this love message here for this King of Wands? Okay, worth waiting for, see? That's what I told you. This King of Wands is waiting for you. Okay, thinking about you and waiting for you. This King of Wands is like, believes that you guys are going to be together either again or is thinking about when is the right time to approach you, as I said, too, also. Okay, now, first, now I want to say a little caveat here for some of you. 
These three kings could all be the one, one person. It could be one person who is waiting for the right time, but thinking about the past with you, as well as feeling like something's over because you're moving on without them, as well as feeling restricted, but it's extremely passionate about you. And when things change, we'll try to come towards you. Okay. So if three different people don't resonate for you, it's one person. Take it however it resonates. Okay. But this king of wands, that fire energy, 100% waiting for you. Thinks you're worth waiting for. And for some reason, it's been thinking about you a lot lately and what you had. All right, let's look at the king of swords. Okay, look, finances and career. That's what I told you. <laughs> this king of swords is like, Virgos just dumped me for money or career or whatever. Is not interested in me. Just completely is like more interested in putting money in their bank account or have, you know, making sure that they're like, they're, yeah, the king of swords is like, I'm not a priority. Virgo's finances are a priority right now. The career, whew, that's harsh. But you have to do what you have to do, right? All right, let's take a look at this king of cups. Now, I'm going to add one little thing to this reading. All right, king of cups. Yep, I told you, King of Cups, passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This King of Cups here, what did I say? Super passionate about you, or it's all the same people, but super, super passionate with the Ace of Wands here. Fun, like physical passion, intimacy. All right, I just want to look, because I know some of you might be dealing with a King of Pentacles. So I want to pull a couple of cards for the King of Pentacles because I want to see what's going on. If you, as a Virgo, are connecting with a Taurus Capricorn or um, another Virgo, let's take a look. Show me this King of this King of Coins. <laughs> King of Coins, defensive energy, a lot of pushback, secretive, not communicating, not saying anything at this time going within, withdrawn, retreating. Okay, very toxic. Out. <laughs> or it just very like has a sex addiction or is very sexually addicted to you. Wow, crazy. It's amazing what cards come out and very standoffish and hesitant and kind of like has all these walls up. All right. I can see why Virgo you're, I don't know what exactly is happening in your life at this time, but it feels to me like you're just, you're just doing your own thing right now. I'm not sure if it was the full moon yesterday or because it, we're going into Mercury retrograde. You're not trying to like repeat the past. You're learning from the past. You're going within and you're just trying to get your power back during this time. Let's take a look and see. I'm going to pull I'm going to pull the love messages from each one of these kings because I feel like I owe you guys that. That so then we hit the mark on every single one. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at the king of wands. Okay? I regret lying to you. All right, let's take a look at the king of swords. You were the best thing in my life. Let's take a look at the king of cups. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. All right. And let's take a look at the king of <clears throat> pentacles. I want to be more than friends. Yeah, I can show it because he's like pushing you away. He or she. All right. Very interesting. Uh, you know what, you guys? The reading went a little differently. I just went with the flow. And whatever spirit, was, whatever direction they were trying to lead me, that's the way I, I, ha I had to go here. So... You know, the setup was the same, but it just went off on its own direction. Something here that you got to know or know about yourself or just get clarity about that, knowing that you're on the right path. Let's take a look and see what your advice is, Virgo. The moon. Didn't I just say the moon last night? 
Last night's full moon. Listen to your intuition, Virgo, and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Don't worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations will make everything clear, Virgo. So whatever you're dealing with and whatever you're going through right now, trust your intuition. Okay? You probably, with this, I think it was a full moon in Pisces, you probably, like your emotions, you were probably feeling a bit off kilter. Could have been why some of you had trouble sleeping last night. But whatever's going on, you got a lot on your plate. Clearing away the cobwebs, I feel. And just trying to get some mental peace within yourself. What else? <laughs> Queen of Swords is back again. See? I told you. This is you. You are brilliant, experienced, humorous, and you can be judgmental. Releasing situations or people that no longer serve you right now. Seeing the humor in difficult situations, which is good. Focusing on your career. And you could be divorced or unmarried. Okay, look at that butterfly of transformation. Beautiful. Look at all those butterflies. Blue. Somebody likes the color blue. Look at that. Beautiful. That's you. I don't care if you're a male. Queen of Swords, that's just the description here. Let's take a look. I want to see what other advice you have. Oh my God, are you kidding? King of Pentacles. <laughs> so the Queen of Swords is the, the ladies. This is definitely the masculine. This is the feminine. This is the masculine. You are compassionate, accomplished, charismatic, and grounded. This is a time of great success, Virgo. Financial security and prosperity, the Midas touch. Everything will turn out beautiful. A supportive parent and spouse and a good person to work for or a good employee. Wow, so this is insane. Focusing on your career as well, um, building yourself up. This is, just, this is just you time right now, Virgo, and that's perfectly all right perfectly all right i feel like they want you to have another okay well your king of cups is here for those of you who had a cancer scorpio or pisces trustworthy honorable devoted cautious someone you can you can completely trust a situation that is safe a solid romantic relationship hidden but well-intentioned emotions, a charitable benefactor, seeing a counselor. Okay, some of you might actually be doing a little counseling or you're currently doing that or will be, which is good, that seems to be helping you. Okay. All right, they just wanted to give me one more, the five of uh, coins here. So there could be negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges. That's something I feel like you're working on at this time. And that's fine. You know, you might you might have some, you're changing some negative th thought patterns, which is good. There may be some fear surrounding money. That's okay. Reach out to others for assistance. For some of you, this could be poor timing for becoming self-employed. If you are self-employed, keep doing what you're doing. But if you're thinking right now about becoming so self-employed, you might want to wait. You might just want to wait a little bit, maybe till after Mercury retrograde is ended to really get yourself out there and doing that. All right, I'm going to pull one more and then we're going to go into the singles. All right, Page of Swords, logical, perceptive, insightful, blunt, an exciting intellectual challenge, brilliant insights, information that you need but might be challenging to receive. Review all of your documents very carefully, Virgo. Interesting. All right, let's get a couple of charms. Okay, weird. So we have acorns. <laughs> sometimes you feel like a nut, sometimes you don't, Virgo. Sometimes you're like, oh, I got it together. And other times you're like, what the heck am I doing? Where did I leave my keys? I thought I wrote that bill. What's going on? And other times you're just out there like on point. <laughs> All right, so we have, what would this be? Like a bull uh, or a ram, okay. Actually, they just gave me, hold on. Oh, yeah. You need to be very careful of the toxicity in your life. 
if you were dealing with someone who was very toxic or abusive, emotional manipulator, look at this, emotional manipulator, or someone who was like a narcissist or something, this change, or you've had several relationships like that with very selfish type people, um, this change that you're going through, you might be um, healing from this, okay? Um, and that's why those nuts were there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. I, I just thought that was kind of ironic that I said that first before I looked at this charm. So you are... I, th I feel like overall that's what's happening here. You've had some pretty tough relationships and then you have some who are interested in you and then some from the past who are still trying to like, wanting to try to be with you. And I feel like you're taking this time off by yourself to figure out what your game plan is and to heal, definitely, which is good. You don't have to have a, um, you don't have to have a girlfriend or a boyfriend every time you don't. It's not a necessity, it's not a requirement be your own lover okay oh well isn't that ironic look at this oh let's just put it right here the snake okay so somebody might be connect some of you might be um chinese sign a goat or a snake and i can't remember what birthdays those would be so you can look them up if you're not sure but um that's slytherin snake oh, all on the devil card yeah so overall you remember what i was saying earlier i was trying to figure out like what the heck's going on what's making all this happen i first saw that maybe you were feeling unstable and now you're getting greedy with yourself and doing for you this might be why because of like all it feels like all the toxicity that has built up over the years has been like a cancer to your soul. And I feel like a lot of you are at this point now, or you're coming into this point where you're like, I gotta like, I gotta cleanse. Some of you are just going into like a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual cleanse, and it's beautiful. I felt like this reading was gonna be a lot more than just romantic drama this is like big stuff okay let's go into the singles and see what is coming up here for the singles hi you guys i hope you like that reading <laughs> crazy Did anybody, um, is there anybody here that is a, the, Ch the Chinese signs I said, anybody um, a goat or a ra or a, um, a snake? I think I am, my Chinese sign is a rooster. I'm a rooster, I'm cocky. I'm not really, I'm actually very humble, but I do have a mouth and sometimes I can be, I can, like my, my oldest son once said, Mom, you really know how to go right for the jugular. Like if I was ever a boxer, or I think if I was ever like, a, um, like an athlete and I had to like kick the ball into the goal or whatever athletes do, whatever, you know, however you do it, I would have been like a Tom Brady if I were a guy in sports. <laughs> See, I told you I was cocky. That's the rooster. I just know myself. I just know that I, I'm like, I have a very sharp eye, very sharp mind, you know? Um, I was even thinking maybe I should do like readings for the Chinese signs as well, because they are so accurate and you combine it with your, um, your zodiac. Crazy, just crazy. All right, let's get into, sorry that took so long. Let's get into the, um, the singles see who's coming in for the singles okay I'm actually gonna use a different deck for the singles okay singles let's see what's going on singles who's coming in for the Virgo singles Virgo singles, Virgo singles, 
Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Virgo Singles, show us. Virgo Singles, if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just click that link, and that will take you right to my booking site, okay? I've been filling up really fast lately, so make sure you pop in there. All right, Virgo Singles. Okay, Two of Swords. Ten of Wands. Oh, Tower in Reverse. And it's weird because I don't usually pull reversals, but every once in a while, Five of Swords reversed. Seven of Wands. The Star and the Hangman. <laughs> All right, Virgo. No singles. Mm -mm. No singles. Listen. Unless there's an air sign coming in, Virgo, it looks to me like you're just showing up in your reading again. And your intention here is you're doing you. And point blank period. And if that is where you're at, whether you are fresh out of a relationship or you are have been single as a Pringle for like 10 years, just keep at it because there's some stuff going on here. Look, you got healing. You've got healing. You've hit rock bottom. The only way up, the only way to go now is up. Okay. And this is, this is the star. Some of you are becoming famous or you will be. Some of you could be connecting with someone who's famous or you will be. It just feels to me, Virgo, like some of you are going to meet somebody Okay, I will say this, like you're not looking, I'm telling you, I know, like you're not looking, like if it comes, it comes. You're, you're more interested in attracting love than going out and seeking it, which is the best way to do things, I think, because whenever you look for it, you, you never really find what you're looking for. And I feel like what's going on here also, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody else showed up and I'm going to take a look because I feel like you are, some of you are going to look. I mean, you are going to bump into somebody, and I just saw the deli counter at the supermarket. What the heck? I Now listen, I've already eaten, so I'm not hungry. The deli counter at the supermarket. You're going to meet your person. And for some of you, um, it's in a supermarket somewhere. And then they just showed me, a, a oh, the gas station. Some of you are going to meet your person at a, like, I guess you say petrol, wherever else you are in the world, a gas station. Two piece kismet coming together at the same time, having gone through the same thing, both single, both like independent, both already ascended. Yes. Yeah. Ascension, change, swift. You're going to, this is so, at first I felt like, no, yes, you are staying single. You're not looking for it. Some of you are just, you, you, you just, like I said in the beginning, kind of analyzing or just looking to see what's out there, but really not making strong effort. And boom, that, that's when somebody comes in here and somebody who's going through the same exact thing. But both of you kind of like meet and you're like, I almost feel like you, you come together, but then you kind of repel each other because neither one of you is looking to be in a relationship. Look. <laughs> challenge conflict obstacles and it just figures it just figures because i feel like you're going to meet somebody who does the pushback as well they're going through a, a change as well just like you um getting enlightened enlightenment they've hit rock bottom they're blocking people they're like okay that's fine but i'm just not right now i'm tired of fighting i'm tired of pushing things forward you know all the time in love i just want to do me you know i'm trying to prevent massive collapse in my life it's been such a burden you're in that same position you're doing the same thing right it's all about the love and but you know what you guys <laughs> because you're on the same journey that's when the love comes in right not because you're pushing it away but because you both attract one another because you both are so independent and but loving and independent in the sense where you're like yeah 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 i'm on the same thing and that just you attract each other with by repelling one another <laughs> it's so weird oh look 
Six of Cups, Sincerity. Is this the past? No. I was picking up here with this because it showed up in reverse that there's an energy here of like some still a little bit stuck in the past and still trying to overcome some past stuff here. I just heard hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> fireworks are going off. There's fireworks. This person, there's going to be fireworks between the two of you. And yet both of you will be like, oh, look at those beautiful fireworks. No, I'm not ready yet. No, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> That's okay, Virgo. Take your time. I feel like this person's in the same boat, in the same position as you. Okay. Neither one willing to take any major risks or just being very cautious with the risks or any risk at this going in, getting involved again, going very, very slow. And that's perfectly fine. I think that's great. No need to rush, Virgo. No need to rush this. Um, let me see if there's anything else here I want to tell you before we get going. Yep, here you go. Chemistry. There will be a strong magnetic attraction between the two of you. Okay? And that mag magnetic attraction between the two of you will come from both of you repelling one another. Because neither one of you, because you're both in a position of, well, I don't need to be in a relationship, but I don't mind spending time with you. And that draws you together, right? When you have a need to be in a relationship or a need to have a partner, that's when you struggle. That's when you suffer. When you let go of that need to have that, like I said earlier, just because you're single doesn't mean you have to have somebody. There's no shame in being single right now and building whatever you're building and being your best self. Okay, you just attract more people that way when you're doing you and you're you're doing well and you're stable. Like you're not doing you because you're running away, you know, or you're you're hiding. You're doing you because you love yourself and you want the best for yourself. And that brings the best lovers to you. You attract what you are. So be your best self, Virgo. All right, I'm going to leave your reading. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a lot of fun. Um, I did get some of your emails, you guys, about the, um, the moderators, and I'll be getting back to everybody over the weekend. And thanks for hanging out in the chat. Um, again, I can't see you guys because I don't have um, the thing enabled, but um, I'll try to pop in during it later. And um, for anybody that gave the Super Chats, thanks. And that's it. I will see you all later. Make sure you put a like on the video on the way out if you enjoyed this. And hit like or subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And make sure you click that notification bell. But also make sure that you have notification settings um, enabled in your phones if you watch on your phone. Okay, or else you won't get the notification. All right, you guys. Love you. I'll see you all soon. Bye.